Hello, hello. I know I'm, I keep talking about Saul Paul a lot and I don't know, I think he's on my mind because I just, I keep thinking about um, people who change and is it possible to change? I hope so. I hope I am not judged by um, how I used to be. Um, so I was rereading in Acts 9, you know, about um, when Saul was on the road to Damascus and how, you know, um, how he had the vision and, and in verse, what is that verse? Um, you know, how he had a vision of Christ and Christ is like, why do you persecute those? You know, <laughs> and, um, and how in verse 15, um, how they describe Saul, that he's a chosen vessel. And I was thinking vessel, and I'm like, is that the word, you know, um, what, what exactly does that mean? I mean, I know what it means, but what does that mean? And as I was looking up definitions and looking in um, different versions of the Bible to see what they all say um, in that same verse, to just, just trying to understand more what that means. And I was writing down kind of notes, um, you know, and one, like a definition was a vessel is a person as a container of qualities or feelings. Like, so you're a container of qualities or feelings. And, and, um, I was, you know, I'm like, so if we're a vessel that we contain qualities and feelings and, and in thinking about Saul and him being a vessel. And I just, I start thinking about how God knows what's in our vessel, that everybody's a chosen vessel, not just Saul, that all of us are, that we all have qualities in us. We're all full of qualities and talents and gifts, and they're all completely different. There's a whole bunch of them, and we all have those. And Saul was using his for wrong, right? Like he was killing and persecuting saints. Like obviously he had a gift <laughs> to teach and persuade and, and be bold, but that he was using it in the wrong ways. And that God, you know, had to point out to him, this is what your vessel contains, or I see what it really contains. So can you use it for good? And so what does your vessel contain? And here, God needed to point it out to Saul. You know, in the scriptures, we always think, well, these are amazing people. These are, these are prophets. These, well, yes, those were the only people who kept books that were handed down from time to time. And so you need to realize that, yeah, these were amazing people, but so are you. And so we can't compare like, oh, well, Saul became an apostle. You know, Paul became an apostle. He's an amazing person. That's why he's a vessel. Well, those are just the records we have. You know, if you read Bibles or, or I mean, if you read journals from past people, if you read their their history, um, just from not history of prophets, which is what the scriptures are, or apostles, or leaders, or, you know, but if you just read, like, your family journals or things like that, you see that they had these exact same feelings and, and these exact same things. So what is in your vessel that God knows is in there? And he knows. And what does he want you to use it for? So with Saul, he's like, okay, yeah. So you're wrong <laughs> in what you're doing. And you need to stop. And I love it how when he, you know, after he was healed and he could see after three days, that he went straight away. He like went instantly and started doing the correct thing once he knew. 
So God, you know, pointed that out to him. And so figuring out what yours is, is going to be different for everybody. First of all, everybody's is different because everybody has different talents and different gifts. And so, but ask God what yours is. Ask him. Help me to know what's in my vessel and how I can use it for good. You know, help me to know these things. Help me, help me to know what, what is innately in me or what talents or gifts or, you know, and, and whenever we think of talents, right? We think of people who play the piano, people who sing, people who draw. There are so many talents beyond that. And you may know, you may know innately, you may ask family members, Ask a good friend, what gifts and talents do I have? What's in my vessel that I have that I can help others the way God needs me to? And it's in there. And it's, it's what he's given you. And so do you develop it and do you use it for good? Or do you use it in other ways? So it's kind of heavy, kind of deep. I know. But I know you have it and I know you have it in you. And how, just figure out what it is. However you feel the need to just talk to God and just say, what is it? What is it you need me to help you do? And then the real question is, are you willing to do it? It wasn't easy for Paul, right? He's going to suffer many things for my sake. It's the same. It's, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. 